Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. And in this episode, we buy the cheapest Kawasaki GPZ 1100 on Marketplace. No, it's not that one. That's the one. We only paid $400 for it. Let me know if we spent too much money. So guys, uh, yesterday, day before yesterday, I was cruising Facebook Marketplace, as we all do, and just happened to look for motorcycles and look for two things that I'm in favor of are cheap and interesting. And this guy showed up, and it had only been it had been posted uh, probably about six or seven hours before. And so I sent the guy a message, and he said, "Well, somebody's coming to get it." And I said, "Well, just let me know if things don't work out." So he sent me a message later on that night, said the guy had no-showed. I said, well, I'm in, I'll pick it up, I'll see you tomorrow, 5 p.m., 150 miles away. Carrie and I jumped in the old truck and rode on over to pick this sucker up. Me and Carrie are going to pick up something special. Stay tuned. Carrie. I dropped it. That would stink if I was by myself and I dropped the remote. Okay, that's good. Thank you very much. TY, good buddy. So guys, this is just the, the setup. I use a little winch. I hook a battery box to it and it's normally a one-man operation unless you drop the remote. Carrie came in clutch to save us. So the only other things I use is a ramp and this little step stool. Make sure you safety strap your ramp just so it doesn't push it off. Gravity works so you guys have to be careful. What would a GPZ video be without showing the coolest GPZ t-shirt on all of the internet? You two can have one of these. All you gotta do is click the link in the description and you can get you one of the coolest GPZ t-shirts and all of the internet back to the show so let's start from the front looks like everything's there the good thing is that we do have turn signals that we can use on the other on our other gpz this windshield it does have one crack right here looks like and this is an original windshield so we'll clean it up and see maybe i can do some little repair in here to stop the crack Stop it from cracking. It looks like it was already repaired at some point. And then we'll put this guy on the other one, which is good because it has less cracks on it than the one on the other bike. Up here, we do have gauges that look to be in pretty good shape. 
and we'll find out we'll put some power to everything in just a little while and see if it, everything works it's all there it's mostly on the bike which is way better than the last time we got a gpz uh, side cover i do like this color it does look like the tank has the usual kind of stuff that you need to be aware of so we'll, we'll probably have to de-rust the tank and uh, look to see if we can clean it out and then maybe bring it back, bring it to the same guy see these little pinholes bring it to the same guy that repaired the cb750 the local welder guy see if he can repair some of these for me looks like we have but we'll clean it out really good and then it'll probably need to be painted if we're going to save it. We'll look to see if we can source a tank. They're tough to come by, but we'll look to see if we can source a tank. If we can source a tank, we'll do that and then put this guy on the shelf. It does have the side cover on this side and on this side. This one is a little different than the other one. So we'll look to see if we can source one that matches. He did say it looked, he thought it was in an accident at one point or something because there is some fiberglass repair right here. So this guy was painted. So I don't feel so bad if we choose to paint it again. Be, and, and to make, depends on what we choose to do with it. Let's, first things first, let's see if we can get it running. Then we see if we can get it riding and then we can go from there. But everything seems to be here. And we definitely have to remove this guy. Yeah. The good thing is he did say that he had it running. That's hopeful. Let's push this guy over there, get the pressure washer out, and let's do some, some washing. Let's see what's underneath all this dirt and grime. We're going to hit it with a little simple green first, and then we're going to go through and pressure wash it. So you see the exhaust is pretty well rusty. You can see it. Let's see what we can do with just a little brass brush. I'm just gonna hit it right here. Let's get the bubbles. So guys, that's it in about, I'm going to leave it real time as what I did to it. That's pretty good. You can see I got some more here. Let's make sure you guys can see that. See the difference? I mean, just that quick. This is just a little brass brush. I love this. It's not as, I don't think it's as scarring as like say um, steel wool or something like that. And you have a handle on it, so you can put a little bit more pressure. Put a little bit more juice on here. Guys, it's not perfect, but it's light years from where it was. Let's see if we can get that guy out of there. And we can do some more work on this, but I just wanted to do this really quick just to show you a little bit of effort. it so here we go this is it it's not perfect but remember what it looked like before look there's still we left some still back here and when I get it out of the see there's still that's pitted so that's not going to go away but I can get more of it off and I get more of this off I just spent seconds on that guys that already looks so much better we'll continue cleaning it up okay guys here it is after the first bath we're gonna have to clean this windshield up some more We'll try to do that when we get inside. It's just, it, maybe it's salvageable, maybe not. So we're gonna let it drip dry for a bit, then we're gonna roll it inside into the air conditioning 
to see if we can put some juice to it and see what happens. Some interesting things that we've noted so far is uh, somebody was running uh, rich and I, the way to solve it was to drill some holes. That's what it looks like right there in the air box. We have some, some plugs that we may need to clean up, some wiring here. We'll check that and see what it is. And we'll put some, like I said, we'll put some juice to it and see what happens. If we make fuel pump noises, that's good. And if we get lights to come on, that's even better. So we'll see if we can get to start. Okay guys, we got it back in here. I've got the battery out. It's on a charger. Just trying to see if we can save it. Let's get at this. Let's just pull, out, pull off this other side cover. And it'd be nice just to make sure everything is kind of intact back here. We can see the fuel filter, the fuel pump, things like that. So let's see. Good tabs aren't broken. Shouldn't be this difficult. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's a little rusty in there. Well, it's okay if they're rusty on the outside, just as long as they're not rusty on the inside. And they're not. We'll squirt some dielectric grease in there too. We'll check all our fuses once we get some power to it. Let's pull off these spark plugs. Okay, so here are the spark plugs. You can see they're super rich. This one. So we're gonna squirt some juice in, in the cylinders and then we'll pull the cover off and we'll see if we can turn it over the wrench. So I have the oil can. We're just gonna pump a couple in each one. And I will have to fix uh, this guy. That That's gonna not make a really good connection. So we'll worry about that when we get to, to there. Let's go ahead and clean this guy out while we're at it. Okay, this is what we found under here. All this stuff shouldn't be here. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I tell you, it shouldn't be there. Hey guys, if you made it here, I really appreciate it. Do me a favor, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. The channel's growing and it can grow faster with your help. So go ahead and hit that, su that subscribe button. And if you really like this content, share it with all your friends. That is looking better. It's still not good, but we're gonna spray it now with some of this electrical connector cleaner just to hose it all out. Okay, looks like we're moving. Good. Put a little bit more juice in here. Now that we got it moved a little bit. I don't have much left. A little bit more. And then we'll kick it over. We'll run it over a couple more times. Get it in the hole, that's what she said. Okay, good. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. Just trying to pull these pickups off. Ah, oh, it stinks when you break off the end of your... Dang it. I just want to clean out from behind it. It's just this pickup right there that needs to be cleaned. Piece of sandpaper right here. There we go. That'll be better. Okay, so I got them clean. This one I was able to clean up on the bike. The other one I was able to pull off. So we'll see how it work figure out that as the time comes. We have oil in all the cylinders. We've cleaned this guy up. We know it turns over. So let's put some juice on it and see if we get any uh, anything happening up here. Okay, let's turn the juice on. So now we have power. Let's see what happens. Hey, we got a neutral light. That's good. Horn works. Starter button does not work. What we're gonna do first, see if we can jump the, uh, 
the starter. See if the electric starter works. Let's try that. Hey. That's good. Let's uh, check, see if we have some spark. Might as well, GoPro mm -hmm. stop recording. We have spark on one and four. Let's check it on two and three on this side. Let me jump this guy again. Hey. Gotta love that. Love it when a plan comes together. Should we shoot, should we put the park, spark? Should we put the spark plug back in and put some juice in it and see what happens? Let's see. Okay, so we've got all the spark plugs in. I did squirt some carb cleaner in the fuel line right here. The problem is, is we do not have a, a fuel pump. There's not a fuel pump on here, but I just want to see if it, anything will happen. Let's just give it a shot. No, nothing, not even a sputter. No, we need a fuel pump. Was hoping something would happen, but no bueno. Let me show you what we're missing. So this guy was in the box of wonders. This is the fuel pump that goes on it. These are the two, the plugs. I'm not getting any juice to it. I tried to put a battery to it to see if I could get it to make some noise and I got nothing. So I think we're gonna need a new one of these. Looks like maybe it was taken apart at one point in time. So we'll see what we can do to uh, replace one of these. I'll look to see what, maybe just an aftermarket one. So guys, we're at kind of a standstill right now. We do have a rather complete 1984 Kawasaki GPZ 1100. It is missing a one, one vital component, a fuel pump, a working fuel pump. We have a fuel pump, but we're missing a working one. So we'll go ahead and order that and a throttle cable because it is missing. See, this is, and this is it. So we'll order a throttle cable for that. Once we get the fuel pump, we get fuel pressure to it. We have fuel running through it. We have spark already. We'll get to see if it makes noise. The fuel pump may be the reason why it was shut down. So we're gonna go ahead and order a fuel pump and we'll go from there. So guys, there you have it, our $400, the cheapest GPZ 1100 on all of Marketplace. And we're gonna go ahead and get it running. It is cleaner now than what it was earlier. We have spark. We have, when we hook up power to it, we get lights everywhere we should. We need to work on that starter button. That's not working quite so well, but that, that'll come. But we're on the road to recovery. So in the next episode, you will see us with a fuel pump and a new battery and hopefully making lots of noise in a good way. And that's where we're going to end it with this $400 GPZ 1100 because tomorrow we take this guy that we got for free. Uh, we ride it to Florida from uh, Slidell, Louisiana to Destin, Florida. It's about, what, 200 miles, 200, 250 miles, something like that, I don't know. We're riding along the beach road the whole way, so we'll be riding along the water pretty much the whole way, and I'm gonna take you guys along with us. So you'll get to see yet another road trip on the free GPZ that was left outside for dead, and now it is awesome. Now, now we have two of these. I do like the silver. I think it's going to stay silver since we have a beautiful red one already. I think this guy is going to get repair tank, do everything we need to with it. And then I think it's going to get a nice pretty paint job, a seat, and then we'll ride it. This one is not going to be, this guy right here is not going to be long for the world in our garage because let's face it garage is only big enough for one GPZ and this one is kind of a legend so this guy would it'd be hard pressed to unseat the goat over here so guys thanks for watching yet another episode of Motorcycle Rewind and do me a favor like tag share and follow us on Instagram at Motorcycle Rewind and go ahead and hit that subscribe button and while you're in the subscribing mood just wander on over to our friends Brickhouse Builds, Gold Guy, Moto Mango, Ace Cafe Bikes, Mile Zero Racers, Plan B Motos, Pete's Classic Cycle and 
Lady Moto Bang, and give those guys a subscribe too. Oh, by the way, speaking of Pete's Classic Cycle, if you're on Instagram, if you go to his page, he has a post. He's given away an amazing Kawasaki leather jacket. And all you have to do is comment on the post and share it. So again, Pete's Classic Cycle on Instagram. Go ahead and do that and see if you can win a jacket. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.